Hello, and welcome back to our playthrough of Escape Velocity Nova. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tement Shard Private Investigator storyline. So I've loaded up a generic pilot here named Columbo, and I've changed up the usual outfitting we usually like to do with these generic pilots. So instead of railguns and fusion pulse batteries, I've switched out for hail chain guns and thunderhead lances. Just because I've come around to the way of thinking that this gives you guys a better view of the action instead of just seeing me fire railguns from a range. This is the UN shipping hook. We're going to go ahead and tell Samantha here no. It's not what we're trying to do. We're going to pop down to the Earth bar because I think that's probably the best place to try to get it repeatedly. Uh, that up or up in Nurse Primus where you can just hop between stations. Now this is a random chance to occur from any Federation bar. I believe it is a 45% chance to occur once you pass a certain threshold for required combat rating. Uh, and it's a pretty short side mission. I don't expect this to take us more than about, oh, 10 to 15 minutes. It does have some nice flavor text, and it feels like it could have been a lead into the Auroran storyline, but uh, it, it isn't. There's Jack, that's the bounty hunter. Uh, here we go, this is Tement Shard. You're sitting in the bar, considering if you, have, if you should have another drink, or go tear apart your drives to remove an annoying rattle when you notice a mysterious-looking man walk towards your table. Sorry to bother you, Columbo, the man says by way of introduction. My name is Temin Shard, Investigator. I was wondering if I could have a word with you. Your hand drifts towards your blaster in an almost instinctive move. Something about this man isn't quite right. He strikes you as being a dangerous individual. I wouldn't do that if I were you, he warns, pushing his jacket open to reveal a modified shot blaster. I have an investigator's license. Legally, I could shoot you, and not see the inside of a prison hulk. Place your hands on the tabletop as Shard steps forward and sits down. I'm glad you didn't decide to test me, Columbo. I'm here to hire you, not to have a firefight. I have been hired by the Federation government to track down some stolen Velos artworks. They were stolen from the first federal gallery and museum on Seoul. The feds have hired me to track them down and return them intact. Apparently, they were supposed to have some form of mystical symbolism to the Velos people. The government have, of course, debunked this notion, by the same token, they are paying handsomely for their return. Well, what do you need me for, you ask? You can obviously look after yourself. The thing is, I need another ship to go with me, he confides. I have traced the artworks to a certain cargo convoy. They have quite the escort, and I need you to disable the Leviathan and board it while I hold them off. I will pay you 30,000 credits for your services. Are you keen? Yeah, we're keen. You nod. You have a feeling that the safest place to be will be close to this Tement Shard character. You don't think he would kill you just to keep you quiet, but space travel and shady characters have given you a good nose for situations, and something smells fishy here. Meet me in orbit tomorrow. I'll be flying a modified star bridge. We'll jump out to Boral 1 in the adjacent system, where the convoy is leaving from. Once there, I'll set up some surveillance. See you tomorrow. Shard turns and heads for the door. You head for your ship too. There's no way you're going to go all the way to Boral 1 with your engine rattling. So we've actually set it up so we're right next to Boral 1 in the Arcturus system. But uh, it's kind of amusing. We're both flying mod star bridges. And you can actually see him. He's out here in space. He is equipped with missiles and a what looks to be 200mm railgun. He's a Class E mod star bridge. Which I'm not as familiar with the classes of mod star bridges as I am with the pirate star bridges. So I don't know if Class C is actually like a real one the player can get. But let's blow up this free trader so you guys can look at my weapon outfit. Oh. He's gonna get away from us this time. Those quick little vipers. Nothing to be done about it. Alright, so let's touch down. You sit down on Boral 1. As you cycle your hatch, you see Shard heading towards you. Wait for word from me in the bar, he says. I have a feeling we're just in time. I bribed the dockmaster, and he says the convoy is scheduled to arrive in about an hour. I'll double check and let you know. So I kind of like Boral 1, because it's, from my vague recollection, only one of two stations in the game which uses this uh, graphic, this icon. The other one is down in Nurse Secondus, and is the Pyrogenesis station. But I'll read the little blurb here, because I, I think it's interesting. Boral 1 is the headquarters of the Boral Mining Corp. It is here that all the noble gases harvested from Fermia's atmosphere by a small army of prospectors employed by the company are processed and refined. So far, Burl survived in the fiercely combative universe of commerce by staying small enough that they remain beneath the notice of the larger, more professional mining companies. 
So I guess this station is just kind of the standard for mining companies because the Pyrogenesis station is also mining a gas giant. Another thing I find amusing is you have the small Sigma Shipyards shuttle right here, but this is, I believe, the front or the back of a Leviathan. So just from perspective, it makes them look roughly equivocal in size, when in reality that's probably a thousand times bigger than the shuttle. All right, so let's go to the bar and see what Temen wants us to do. You spend a half hour waiting before a message beeps on your wrist comp. You quickly run your decoder over it and scan the message. Shard wants you to take off straight away and meet him up top. The message ends with a cryptic question, asking if, if you are really sure you are ready to take on the job. You wonder what's going on. You resolve to ask Shard the first chance you get. But then, should you just message back that you have engine problems and decline to help him? Do you take the mission? Yeah, we're going to take the mission. You are prepared to leave the bar when Shard opens a hailing channel. We are going to make our attack on the convoy as they arrive in the Arctic Arcturus system. Remember, head for the Leviathan. I'll take care of the escorts. Once we have the artifacts, meet me in LPAD in the adjacent system. He terminates the channel, and you find yourself wondering why he insists on being a man of few words. Sighing, you start mentally preparing yourself for battle. Well, I'm glad he's a man of few words, as opposed to, say, Eamon Flanagan, who is never quiet. All right, we're going to zip over and destroy this pirate, just so we don't have to worry about it as this convoy jumps in. So you see, those of you who are paying attention might see that the designation is Federation on all of these, which is a little bit weird, because we thought he was hired by the Federation. All right, we're going to have to be really gentle here, because these Thunderhead Lances will just destroy him. All right, we're going to board him. We got it, and we're going to jump away before that uh, Federation support fleet comes through, because if they have Velos, we have problems. But that was pretty smooth. All right, this is also a pretty interesting station. I'll read the blurb for it as well. You land on LPAD with a flush of success on your cheeks. However, you are still surprised that the feds attacked Shard. You cycle the hatch and head out to find him. You meet Shard walking through the abandoned LPAD spaceport. For the first time since you met him, he is smiling. Well done, Columbo, he beams. That was a hell of a fight, wasn't it? You nod, telling him that you haven't seen flying like that before. I've had some pretty specialized training, he says. But for the moment, I'll just say that things aren't always what they appear. You look at him, bemused. I know I can trust you now, since we are in this together, he confides. I am not working for the federal government. I am working for a third party keen to see the artworks return to the Velos. You suddenly begin to see the light, why the feds attacked Shard, and why he has been so secretive on the whole journey. I'll meet you on your ship in 20 minutes. I'll tell you everything there. 20 minutes later, you cycle the hatch closed. Shard sits down and produces a bottle. I have something to tell you, he begins. I am not a freelance investigator. I am a deep cover operative working for the Heron House. So that's the Auroran House that the player would be in if you do the Auroran storyline. The most noble house in the Auroran Empire. You are stunned. While you knew there was something strange about Shard, you would never in your wildest dreams have considered this possibility. I have been in Federation space for 15 years now, he continues, and have been sending information to, and doing missions for, the Heron House the entire time. My father was a Thurakir of the House, and I am a Shard of his obsidian heart. If you want to know what those means? Go and watch the Auroran storyline, up on the channel now. The artifacts we have liberated rightly belong to the Velos, and, contrary to popular belief, the Aurorans do look after people other than their own. I have approached you because you have shown yourself to be a man of honor. Not tr to not treat you as such would be a great insult. Therefore, your record with the Federation will never show your involvement in this heist, nor shall the Federation ever know of your involvement here. You ask Shard why he trusts you so much, considering the fact you could sell him out to the Federation at a moment's notice. His eyes turn cold. Firstly, he says, I know that you have never sold out an individual before. To do so would be an incredible change of personality for you. Aaron Intel agrees with my conclusions. You may think that you are anonymous, but your federal file was an open book to us. The feds have not even encrypted it that heavily. Secondly, if you were to sell me out, as you put it, he takes a sip of his drink, eyeing you over the rim of his glass, the early warnings I have set up would give me ample time to escape the Bureau Snatch Squad sent to capture me a number of Heron hit teams would continue to hunt you down wherever you went until you were dead. Only you would be in a position to betray me, no other. You quickly tell Shard that you would not betray him, not because of the threat of Heron retribution, but as a matter of honor. He smiles. I know that, Columbo. If you ever go into Heron space, know that you'll be treated with the respect you deserve. He stands, grasps your hand, collects the artifacts, and leaves you a credit chip. 
Part of you is sorry to see Shard go, but another is glad to be out of his immediate orbit. Danger follows him like a ghost, and, for a little while at least, you'll be glad not to be in the firing line. So there we go, a nice little storyline. It really is just those, um, you can call it two missions, it's really just one mission. But it's a little bit interesting, and it's kind of a nice intro to uh, getting the player familiar with the Heron House if they haven't done, say, the Bounty Hunters or the United Shipping Missions to go and be introduced to Aurora in Space. So, LPAD. This is kind of an anomaly because it's a it's a dock which doesn't have any services. You can't even recharge here, but you are allowed to land on it, which is kind of peculiar. So, LPAD was a uh, propulsion research lab in the days before drives were perfected for sublight travel. According to rumor, researchers on the station actually came up with a remarkable new design for sublight travel that would reduce fuel requirements to a twentieth of the current value. However, Pyrogenesis swiftly executed a hostile takeover of this system and quietly terminated the project, for fear of having their revenues for raw gas mining slashed. LPAD still has backup power, but anything of great worth has long since been removed by Pyrogenesis Corp. So there you go. And I don't think... Well, actually, Harbor does use the same graphic, this graphic here, um, but I don't think any of them use the same vignette which is kind of neat. It's nice finding those unique things. Uh, there's also a bunch of pirates in the system, and this is a convenient system because you can essentially reload the ships in the system just by landing and taking off from that abandoned station. So if you really need to grind up your combat rating or you want to do some capturing, this is the place to do it. All right, and that's Temen Shard. That's really all there is to it. So thank you for joining me for this one. It was short and sweet. And if you want to see similar content, please go ahead and check out one of the major storylines or some of the other side missions up on the channel. And if you liked something, please let me know in the comments below. But regardless of what you do, until next time, I hope that you have a good one.